Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, well there are ways to actually make things faster if your internet connection is real fast and you're not reaching the speeds that you want there are upgrades available that are easy to do. Now in the case where it's a modem router that is actually your internet service providers a device call them and say that you want to have a more modern modem especially if the technology used is n now today we have ac ax uh, they should be able to provide you with a much faster and better solution in the case where it's your equipment so you have a router connected to your modem uh, then of course the first thing that you might want to do is if the router is old change the router for a more modern version now there are two ways that these are advertised today so we have n AC and AX, which are the three latest um, protocols. AX is the fastest, AC is pretty good, and N is an older protocol. And if you buy something new today, you should actually avoid N and go to an AC router, at least. Now, for that to work, you also need to have AC compatible hardware on your computer. In the case of an old computer that's several, you know, six, seven, eight, nine years old, you can actually find, fix that and have a better solution easily by buying something that is a little dongle like this that goes into a USB port. Um, these will speed up whatever basic Wi-Fi card was in your computer at the start. This will actually make it much faster because this will give it more newer technologies for Wi-Fi. So you can actually update both the router and buy a little dongle like this you'll have the capabilities as long as they match so both need to be AC compatible or it's also known as Wi-Fi 5 AX Wi-Fi 6 is the latest latest but the routers and the devices are expensive and you don't necessarily need the latest latest technology uh, AC is fine and it'll cost you less for both the router and the dongle and this can actually speed up even an older computer that cannot go to the speed of your internet connection. This will actually give it the speed required because you'll have newer technology and you won't have to dismantle your computer or anything. You just plug in the little dongle in the USB and it works great. Remember, once again, the further away you are, the slower the internet speed can be. And there are also in uh, urban areas, if you live in a big city, all the routers and all the Wi-Fi around you can interfere. So sometimes there's other solutions like changing the channel of your connectivity. And last but not least, there are two types of connections that will happen. Usually when you go and check for Wi-Fi connectivity, what's going to happen is that it's going to give you some possibilities. For example, here, this is my connection and it says 5G because I named it for 5 gigahertz. Uh, there's the same name below it, but that's the 2.4 gigahertz. Remember that you want to always be on the 5 gigahertz. It's always the fastest of all the connections. So when you have two choices available, the 5 gigahertz is the one you want to choose for most applications. And having the latest hardware um, is the best if you have really fast internet connection. It's extremely important. A lot of people don't realize that their internet might be slow because they have two equipment that is way too old. And even drop off of Wi-Fi, sometimes they'll disconnect. And it often happens it's because the, uh, the hardware that you use is just outdated and you need something more recent. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.